So in this problem, we're told a car traveling 105 kilometers per hour strikes a tree. The front end of the car compresses and the driver comes to rest after traveling 0.8 meters. What was the magnitude of the average acceleration of the driver during the collision? Then we're told to express the answer in terms of g's, where 1g is 9.8 meters per second squared. So let's just find out what variables we're given and write them down first. So we're told a car traveling 105 kilometers per hour. So in the beginning, our car is traveling this. So our initial velocity, v sub 0, is going to be 105 kilometers per hour. So let's write that down first. Next, uh, the front end of the car compresses and the driver comes to rest after traveling this. So when they give you like something in meters, it's always going to be delta x, just your change in position. So it changes in position 0.8 meters. And then we also know uh, what we're trying to find is the acceleration, right? So what is the acceleration? But what we also know is that it comes to rest, right? So the car is coming to rest. So what that means essentially is that our final velocity is going to be zero, right? Because final velocity is just at the end of your um, distance or whatever your time. And uh, it's coming to rest. And when something's at rest, and stop moving. So it's going to be zero meters per second. And then they're asking us for acceleration. So that's what we're trying to find, acceleration. And so the tricky thing about this problem is they give you uh, or this is in kilometers per hour and this is in meters, right? So we got to convert one of these to the other. I think it's gonna be easier to convert V sub zero to meters. So make sure whenever you solve these problems that your units match up. So let's go ahead and convert this to meters per second. And uh, so we have 105 uh, kilometers per hour. So to get rid of kilometers, there's 1000 meters in one kilometer. And so our kilometers will cancel. And then we need to convert hours to seconds. So there's going to be one hour for every 60 minutes. So that's going to cancel that and that. And then there's going to be one minute for every 60 seconds. So that minute will cancel and we'll just be left with meters per second. So you have 105, and then you're multiplying it by 1,000. So you take 105, multiply by 1,000, divide, or 105 times 1,000 times 1 over 60 times 1 over 60. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So 105 times 1,000. And then divide or multiply by 1 over 60, multiply by 1 over 60. You should get 29.16. Uh, meters or this is gonna be meters per second right so meters per second so 29.16 meters per second so that's going to be our new initial velocity so we got to make sure they're the same so now we're going to actually be able to solve the problem so now this is going to be 29.16 meters per second so we've got them all in the same units now all we gotta all we gotta do is solve so which equation are we going to use so we got to use the kinematic equations because it's going to be constant acceleration and uh, notice that we're not given time. So all these variables, uh, all these equations, the top three contain time. So we can't use them. Uh, so it's not going to be these. We're going to use the bottom one. So all we got to do is take our variables we already laid out and plug them in and solve. So v squared, we know v is 0. So 0 squared is just 0. So 0 equals v sub 0 squared, which is 29.16. So 29.16 squared plus 2 times a times 0.8. So 0.8 times 2 is going to be 1.6. So it's going to be 1.6a. And then I'm going to minus the 1.6a to this side. So minus 1.6a equals 29.16 squared. And so uh, we've got it like this. What we need to do is, I'm going to square this, so 29.16 raised or squared is going to be 850.3056. And then we got to divide by minus 1.6 to get the A by itself. And so if you divide that by minus 1.6, you should get minus 531. 0.441 and so this is going to be your acceleration in meters per second squared so 
Uh, this is meters per second squared, right? Because meters in seconds. Keep in mind it's negative because we're slowing down, right? Because we're hitting this tree. The tree is going to cause us to slow down. But look at what, how they tell us to express our answer. They say express the answer in terms of g's. So they tell us that 1g is 9.8 meters per second squared. So we got to take our number in this and divide it by meters per second squared. And that'll give us the number of g's. So minus 531.441 divided by 9.8. So go ahead and do that. You're going to get minus 54.228. And I'm going to round to the whole g, right? So round this to the whole number. So it's just going to be minus 54. So it's going to be minus 54 g's. And so this is going to be your answer to this problem.